I got hooked on horticulture when I studied it 50 years ago. Have a look at what I'm doing now here on the Gold Coast. The whole idea of this garden is to be a white garden, a cottage garden with all sorts of different lower growing plants. At the back, I've put some trellis in. I'm going to grow white roses, white flowering roses on that. And then everywhere else, I've got all sorts of different plants. I've got a rose there, I've got some petunias, I've got various perennials, but virtually all of them have white flowers. In that way, I'm tying the whole garden together to a colour theme which is what landscapers very often do. And it's something we teach in our courses too. The paths in my garden, I've managed to build just by excavating rocks out of the soil. I dig down like I've done here, and it's amazing what I've been able to dig out. And then I just lay down some cement on the ground and I'll put the rocks into it and I'll keep the level um, or the, the surface flat. We've created a couple of interesting gabion seats in our garden. Very simple, very easy to, to make. We just buy these wire cages and we fill them up with rocks, which I'm picking up from the, around the garden. So I'm clearing up the garden at the same time. Then I lay a couple of plank planks on top and I've got a gabion seat. Simple. Come and have a look through my native plant garden. I've planted hundreds of different species of natives here, most of them only over the last year, so they've still got a long way to go. Come and see. The little native creeper. Silver leaves, nothing much as far as flowers, but you know, we only put in a plant about so big about four or five months ago, and look at it, it's just taken off. This is another native plant, Pradia pendunculata. It's covered with little white flowers, usually in autumn and spring here on the Gold Coast. This has taken off too from just like a little plant that big. In four or five months, it's got to that size. Um, Terrific. <laughs>